How do you set the maximum motor RPM for a Hayward variable speed super pump? Well, that's in the configuration men menu, and let's go ahead and get in there. Hit the menu button, you see that we're locked, and you hold the arrow buttons to access the configuration menu. There we go, and now we can proceed. What we want to do, there we go, maximum allowed speed. The default setting is 3450 RPM, that's just maximum speed for these electric motors, but for a lot of pools that's going to be too much. This is especially true if you have a sand filter. If you have a sand filter, check the maximum design flow rate. It should be easy to find information for your filter. And using a flow meter, determine what is the maximum RPM. Let's say that 2600 RPM, boom, we're getting 50 gallons per minute. We can see that with our flow meter. Well, if our filter only allows that a maximum of 50, then we wouldn't want this pump to ever operate above that level. And so this is exactly how we would accomplish this. So I set that new maximum RPM, proceed all the way to the end of the menu, press menu to exit. We've made a change, so press plus to lock in that change. The pump kind of does a little reset and then saves that new information that we've added. And now the absolute maximum that this pump can operate is that new RPM that we just set. And this way we can protect our equipment, especially sand filters. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.